If you're a variety streamer like me and you have a couple of different formats that you run sort of week to week, um, you might find it a bit of a pain to manage your stream profiles. Um, so let me show you what I mean by that. So you see this edit stream info button. We've got, um, you can set the title. So you might have to have a document set up somewhere else, but then you've got these tags and category. So um, these tags, like the category is one thing, you've got to search, you've got to remember what the right one is. So you might have like software, you know, development. And um, you've, uh, but we'll put this back to music. Um, so you edit that up, you, you think of what you want to type in here, you think of this nice go live notification, and then you come down here and you start going, ah, oh, what, what, what do I tag my music stuff with? Electronic, is it dance music? Yeah, dance music. And then you sort of, spent like two minutes working on this or you've got it in a document and then you sort of go okay are there any more no and then you press escape and the whole thing disappears and you lose your work and you have to start again so it's just this just just kind of annoying thing that happens that i just felt like i needed to create a little tool to solve so i've made that tool a while ago but now i've made it in a way that you can use it too so you just have to go to squares.tv slash twitch and that is going to take you to this page or a page like this. And there's going to be a button called uh, uh, labeled use the stream profile manager. You click on that and that's going to let you connect. You, so you connect, log in with Twitch and you'll be redirected to this page. Now it will be blank. <laughs> it will be blank for you the first time. Um, so it'll be slightly more obvious what you have to do. But um, if I just uh, demonstrate this now, you've got to look for this. So I haven't uh, polished this at all, but it's useful. Um, I will polish it if enough people start using it and I get, start getting embarrassed, but I just wanted to share it in its uh, sort of crude form. Um, you have to press refresh to grab whatever's on Twitch now. Also, if you haven't logged into the tool for a while, just always hit refresh because the token expires. So you just have to do that. And you can see it's pulled in. So um, I don't know, do a, do a demo of this, of my stream uh, profile manager. So we can save that. And then if we hit, like we have to refresh the page, but if we re hit refresh here, here, here it is. Here's my uh, stream uh, title. If you um, hit edit, that's actually gonna, so you just only edit it there, okay? And now you can save that to a new profile just with one click and you can, you can give it a title and you can sort of add a couple of things, but you see there's five tags attached to it, but we just hit save and now we have a new tile. And so we have these other ones. So say I was going back to my endless remixes thing, I just click on that and that sent it to Twitch. And if we look here, look, live remixing my songs, it's got the right tag and it's got all these tags that I've chosen. Come back to the podcast that I do every week. It's got co-working Croatia. We come back here, look, co-working Croatia, talk shows and podcasts. So it's just a really quick way to manage your profiles for your different streams. Um, and just, you know, always hit refresh. <laughs> and uh, uh, and you, so you only have to manage those tags just once and then it's sorted and um, I think I've got it I'll, I'll add more features if more people start using it but for now it's just a useful little time saver and frustration saver particularly if you've written something in that box and accidentally pressed escape at any point and you just lose your work and it's really annoying so yeah uh, squares.tv slash twitch and you're good to go and that but that will that will sign you up to the mailing list as well so watch out for that um, because the twitch is one click so um but you, there's a clip you know you don't have to stay subscribed if you don't want but that's just my way of it's called it's what you call a lead magnet where you try and uh, find people that are interested in the sorts of things you're making and then you know we can be friends so yeah uh, let me know what you think there's a discord um which if you go to the home page of squares tv i'll just show you that back again that there's a discord I've, I've, I'm, I'm putting the tools up here so i'll add a link to the tool here um i've got my camera app i've got my delay calculator if you're not sure what your audio delay needs to be on your microphone uh, i've got the scripts to timeline um converter for final cut editors uh, i've got a discord and then there's the mailing list and then i've got all these interviews and you know, audio guides and tools. And I'm just assembling all this expertise that I can find and trying to offer all different sorts of things. So that's what Squares TV is. So hopefully you'll, sort of, you'll be interested in that and sign up and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.